technology continues to advance at an incredible pace, fighter jets are being transformed into something beyond their original design. The conversion of fighter jets into unmanned aerial vehicles is not a new concept. The United States has already converted its retired F-4 Phantoms and F-16 fighter jets into UAVs for a variety of purposes. Converting fighter jets into target drones allows for the testing and evaluation of missile systems. This enables the military to ensure that new missiles work as intended and are capable of engaging and destroying their targets. Converting fighter jets into target drones is also useful for training military pilots in the use of missiles and the tactics required to effectively engage targets. It provides pilots with a realistic target to engage, helping them to hone their skills and improve their proficiency. Fighter jets converted into target drones can also be used to test the ability of other aircraft and weapons systems to counter electronic warfare measures. By simulating an enemy aircraft, the drone can help test the ability of other aircraft to avoid or defeat these measures. By simulating the capabilities of enemy aircraft, military planners can better understand the potential challenges they may face in a real-world scenario. In addition, fighter jets that are converted into drones can be used as decoys and equipped with various types of missiles, including air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. While it is technically possible to use fighter jets that are converted into drones for dogfighting against piloted fighter jets, it is not a realistic concept yet. Because dogfighting is a highly dynamic and unpredictable activity and requires quick and accurate decision-making from the pilot. Converting a fighter jet into a drone removes the ability for a pilot to make real-time decisions which could limit the effectiveness of the drone in a dogfight. Multiple reports indicate that India is attempting to convert its MiG-21 and Kiran Mk-2 intermediate jet-powered trainer aircraft into optically manned combat aircraft. However, transforming its fighters into drones is not without its challenges. For example, the F-4 fighter jets are being modified into target drones so that military pilots can practice their air-to-air -air combat skills on a realistic target. The QF-4 is equipped with electronic and infrared countermeasures for a comprehensive evaluation of enemy fighters and weapons. The aircraft can either be piloted entirely by computer or manually during takeoff and landing using a mobile control station located on the runway. Like QF-4s, a MiG-21 can be modified for remote control, however doing so would present a substantial engineering challenge and necessitate lengthy modification, testing and cost. Therefore, if India goes ahead and converts its MiGs into a targeting drone, Despite the many challenges, such as complex engineering and cost, it could be a viable option for testing India's various weapon systems. Such as India's Astra missile, air defense systems, and also for testing the pilot skill in a realistic combat situation, or perhaps as a decoy to trick the hostile radar. However, things get more complicated when you want to convert an older aircraft into an unmanned combat aerial vehicle. While the modifications made to the QF-4 Phantom to convert it into an aerial target drone are significant, they are less extensive than those that would be required to convert an older fighter into a combat drone. Converting a fighter jet like the MiG-21 into an unmanned combat aerial vehicle would be a much more complex and challenging process. A ground-based operator would remotely control the MiG-21 as a combat drone. 
This would require advanced control systems that can properly recreate the experience of flying the aircraft in real time while giving the user situational awareness and the capacity to do complex maneuvers. The MiG-21's avionics and navigation systems would need to be updated to handle remote control and modern sensors and communication devices. A combat drone would need missiles, explosives, and guns. These systems would need to be updated for remote control and effective deployment from the unmanned aircraft. To operate as a combat drone, the MiG-21 would need improved safety systems that can detect and respond to a variety of dangers, such as aircraft collisions, equipment failures, airspace detection, friendly fighters identifications, etc. Moreover, we must address the elephant in the room, which is the cost of producing such systems. The United States Air Force has awarded Boeing a contract worth $49.7 million to convert its retired F-16 fighters into unmanned aerial target vehicles. These QF-16s will supplant the QF-4 target aircraft. If F-16s are converted into combat drones, the price tag may rise much further. For the role of unmanned combat aerial vehicles, India has alternative fields to focus on, such as the Rustam drone and the Gaudic stealth drone. Developing a combat drone like the Gaudic may be more efficient than converting a fighter jet into a UCAV. Moreover, designing a dedicated drone like the Gaudic lets designers optimize the aircraft's design for unmanned operation. This can create a more streamlined and efficient design that meets military requirements. Advanced stealth characteristics are being added to the Gothic drone, making it harder for enemy air defenses to identify and track. This can increase the drone's survivability and effectiveness in combat scenarios, which is particularly important for unmanned aircraft that are typically more vulnerable than manned aircraft. Please share your thoughts if you have a different opinion on whether or not retrofitting obsolete aircraft to serve as UCAVs is a good idea.